You are lucky to have a boss like me. Once again, I have saved your small but relatively shapely behind. At least you got to travel. What were they going to charge me with anyway? Charge you? They were thinking of shipping you off to the government asylum for observation. Believe me, you go in there, you don't come out. Got your stuff? Why'd you give me this story, Charles? Who else would have taken it? Are they going to think it's just bullshit, or they're going to be too afraid to enter into it? But Amy Klein, tell me it's real, Amy. It's real. Or well, I'm crazy. Either way, it's a good story. You see, Amy, for the average person, the hunger for knowledge is like the hunger for food. We want to know just enough to take the edge off our appetite. Then we're satisfied, and we stop. But you are a glutton. You can't help overeating. I don't hear you complaining. No, that's the point. That's why I still need you. Because all that stuff I don't eat, I still want. So I send you in to do the eating for me so I get to experience it without actually suffering any mental indigestion. Thanks a lot. So I do all the suffering. Nobody's forcing anything down your throat, correct? No. I'm not here to save people. I'm not here to judge them. I take them as they come and use them as they pass by. You know, there's something vaguely demonic about you, Charles. And did you know the word demon comes from the Greek word for knowledge? No, I didn't. A medical education. Hop in, I'll give you a lift. No, thanks. Need the fresh air. Then walk back to your room, lie in your coffin until the daylight hours have passed, as is your habit. Then go get me my story. Thank you.